So guys, welcome back again to my channel. So Nigerian police have vowed to protect the protesters be come August 1st on Thursday. So the Nigerian police reply, take it back movements vow to protect citizens being and back governments in Nigeria protests. So the Nigeria police force has applied a Punolo Adeborua, that is the senior advocate of Nigeria, the lawyer of the take it back movement over his request for protection for protesters in the upcoming embargo governance in Nigeria protest. So I think police have come out to support the protesters on that day. So the letter was signed by the principal officer of the Secretary of Police, that is the CP Johnson Adenola. It would be recalled that the movement through its lawyer, Ebun Olu Adeburua, served a formal notice of the upcoming gathering and why seeking police protection to ensure their peaceful execution. The application, according to the letter, was made pursuant to Section 39 and 40 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999, as amended, and also Section 83 of the Police Act 2020. The letter, which provides as follows 83, Section 1. The police force is responsible for maintaining and securing public safety and public order. Two, the police force shall, in carrying out its responsibility under subsection 1, a, uphold the provisions of the constitution and other laws, b, uphold the constitution, the, uphold and protect the fundamental rights of all persons in Nigeria, and c, be fair to all persons in Nigeria notwithstanding their economic status or religion, ethnic or political belief and affiliation. In a reply to the development, it was noted that the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Operations and Intelligence, the Assistant Inspector General of Police in charge of Police Zonal Headquarters and the Commissioner of Police in charge of State Command across the country had been directed to attend to the request. The lawyer was invited to a meeting on 30th of July 2024 to deliberate on the request. The national protest is scheduled between August 1st and August 10th. So let's hope to see if all the vow that will come to pass because we know we know all the people once they start protesting now they will go against the protesters. These are what they are being known for. But I think they've come out to vow that they will protect since they've signed it. I hope that they will protect the protesters come August 1st and August 1st to August 10th. So I encourage everybody to come out and get this done. But the issue now is that I'm seeing another protest going on, anti-protest, saying that we should not protest, that it's not good for the country, and not safe for the country, that we should not protest. But I don't know. Let's wait and see how August 1st will be. But I think, yes, the government has scared, so they're putting on everything that they can to stop the protest. Now, Bibi Nigeria is on a distraction. Now, the Start, they will start um, paying some women to come out and say that the protests will not hold. A lot of things, a lot of distraction, the festival that they put in Lagos that is normally hold on February and March, they are not shifted it to August 1st to August 5th, up to August 10th. Yes, they are doing the period of protests. Now they are planning, they are doing everything that they can do to stop this protest. And now some, some, some men of God have come out to say that they should not protest, that the protesting is not good for the country, that it might cause havoc and might cause war to the country. And the people have already come out to address the issue of protest, saying that they should protest, but they should do a peaceful protest. Alex Oti have come out to say that they should do a peaceful protest. So a lot of people have come out to see this issue of protest, and some are coming to tackle it, and some are coming to to encourage people to go on. I saw a post yesterday where Red Dark Man actually went out with flag and seen that come out and protest. So that one is encouraging it. Some people are discouraging, some are encouraging. But we all know what will happen on the 1st of August, that's on Thursday to the 10th of August. Let's know if it will come out positive or negative, but we are all hoping it will come out positive. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to my video. And if you're new here, this is a channel that gives opinion gist about news. But we'll keep updated on this issue of protest. So I'll see you guys in my next video.